to show you guys real quick but over a few different years of me singing so you can see how the tone of my voice improved and everyone I feel like can improve that so this is just to kind of encourage you this is me starting out when I was 17 little original song here we go couple years later and you'll hear the sound of my voice like the natural like tone of it just kind of improved and the, the feeling of it you will wait now without the words I love you and you're beautiful and now this is fairly recent about a year ago Rocket Major Tom to ground control. This is Major Tom to ground control. I'm a rocket man spin around in my tin can. So that was just from practicing very regularly, singing regularly, and really striving to improve my voice, getting some vocal lessons, and you can see how the tone of my voice improved. There are a lot of different vocal programs going around the internet that are that have titles like this, how to be the world's greatest singer and these types of things. What I've realized is that every single person has the potential to become a great singer, but not every person has the potential to be able to sing better than Michael Bolton or to be able to sing a Steve Perry song from Journey in the original key and sound good in that same key. Not everyone has that same potential. And I say that to actually encourage you because I felt discouraged when I started getting all these vocal programs and practicing like crazy. And I was like, man, I can't sing you know, the song completely or how am I supposed to live without you by Michael Bolton. I can't sing this song in the original key and have it sound good. I can hit these notes, but it just doesn't sound good. That made me feel discouraged. And what I realized is, you know what? Vocal cords are part of your body, right? And everyone has the potential to have a great body if they're willing to work out and eat healthy, but not everybody has the potential to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, to actually have like the world's greatest body and win Mr. Olympia 10 times or whatever he did. Not everybody has that potential. And so to sell that idea to people of, you know, you can sing Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer in the original key is Bon Jovi. And that idea, I think, is kind of misleading people into discouraging them, or it, it, this happened to me, um, from actually finding their own voice. And so there are certain singers that you're going to naturally sing sort of like them and that your voice is going to fit into that. And so embrace that. So for me, um, I naturally sing James Taylor songs really well and just like the tone of my voice just fits uh, the way that he sings. Or Elton John, I sing those songs really well. I love singers like Michael Bolton, like Brian Adams, but I generally don't sing their songs as well. Or um, uh, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. But my range doesn't fit naturally in that same place that theirs fits. And there's going to be a certain uh, sort of range where your voice naturally sits. Now you can change that over time. You can, you know, extend it by a bit. Uh, I can sing, uh, when I didn't used to be able to do this, every note from, uh, I don't know exactly where the bottom of my range is, but I know that the top is around about an A sharp five. Um, so that's really, really high. And I can sing that with tons of power on every vowel. But if I'm singing up there, if I'm singing up um, in that, you know, a high A5 kind of area, there's very little phrases that I can sing that are actually going to sound good when I'm singing that high. So really, stuff that sounds good, I really can't sing above about a C4 where it actually sounds good. And there are certain other singers where you go like Sammy Hagar, where when they sing up there around the C, D range, um, that sound stuff sounds great. It's like right in the pocket of their range. So don't get discouraged by that find where your range is, try and build every single note. Um, you can learn that from, from my channel, from different YouTube videos, or if you want to get a, a lesson over Skype, I can teach you how to build each one of those notes and how to get power on all of those different notes, you know, from the bottom to the top of where pretty much everyone sings. But that doesn't mean that's where your voice is going to naturally sit and sound really good. So when I first started singing, 
I was horrible. I was like awful. My mom told me, she's like, David, I love you, but you can never be a professional singer. Like your voice is just horrible. Like no one can go from as bad as you sound to sounding good. It's just, and that actually just encouraged me. I was like, I'm gonna show her. I'm gonna teach you as much as I possibly can, as much as I learn. And I really love you guys. So, you know, post some comments. Uh, let me know how your own voice is improving or if there's something that I can do to help a new tutorial that you'd like me to make. Good luck.